What's up guys? So I got the heater box all done. About to primer it. And then uh, when the primer dries, put it on the truck. Show you guys what it looks like. So it turned out pretty slick. I'm, you ain't even gonna be able to tell. I cut it apart. To buy this box right here, it's like $170. Buy one just like this off of classic trucks or something like that. Now you can see the fiberglass on the back side. On the outside, you can't even tell. So I don't know if you guys watched the previous video. I uh, cut this off. You stick out like clear up to here. And I fiberglass the inside, fiberglass the outside, put a little bit of dirt glass on it, several coats of Bondo to get it the shape that I wanted. Most of it ended up on the floor. And uh, some rattle can primer. Just finished filling the holes with uh, some icing. Now I'm scuffing it down with some Scotch Brite to get the 100 scratches out of it. And they all won't come out, so I'll prime it again, and then I'll scotch brite it again. And then if I have to, I'll prime it again. So if I have to, I'll prime it again. I might prime it several times, depending on how good it looks. I'm just leaving it flat so that it doesn't look like it's painted, so it still looks like plastic. So the scratches won't be that obvious especially in the engine bay it'll kind of be dark but I'd rather get as many of them out as I could that way if I'm at a show or something or at the track and I have the hood pop somebody doesn't walk up and there's big 36 scratches still bulging through so I'll just put as many coats of uh, primer on here as it takes to get rid of the scratches and I'll do one final coat and I'll put her on there real nice and wet it'll be slick and uh, I'll get her installed. I'll probably have it done tonight and installed tonight. And uh, hopefully that'll be part of this video. So I will uh, keep you guys updated later. Figured I'd show you. Figured I'd show you guys a little uh, trick here when doing body work and trying to get straight body lines. Because I'm working on this. And then I'm working, while I'm waiting on mud to dry on this, is when I'm working on the heater box. So, I got a little sag right here in my body line. So what I've done is I got about, I got one layer of three quarter tape all the way down my body line here. And then I've taken it where the body line sags down, I've stacked tape up long pieces, smaller pieces, smaller pieces, and then another long piece. And what that does is that builds that edge up right there. And when I drag the mud over it, it won't want to sag back down, it'll hold it up. And then I'll leave this piece of tape here and I'll block my sandpaper down until I hit that tape. And then I'll peel it off and I'll mask this bottom side off here and I'll skim the top of it with some icing and then I'll block that out and then after I'm all done I'll leave the body line sharp and then after I'm all done I'll take a piece of uh, 180 before I prime it and I'll just roll it over it and I'll just drag it across at one time and then I'll primer it and I'll block my primer and I'll mask this body line off right here and I'll block my primer and then I'll mess it off on this side and I'll block my primer with a round dirt block or this square dirt block. If you guys don't have these dirt blocks, these dirt blocks, they come in real good. They stay nice and straight. They're good and firm. They got just the right amount of flex. That's what I do all my body work jobs with. I got these two. I got the taco which is good for doing radiuses like this. There's a curve right here in this. Let's me get this curve. And you just fold a piece of sticky DA paper right over that. 
And then some of the other blocks in the kit. This is what the kit looks like. These are the blocks included. Seven piece kit. They got, you can get them all the way up to 48 inches, I believe. This is, because the longer the block, the straighter the panel. Like on this door over here. I'll use this panel for the most, this long block I got here, this 18 inch for the most part when I'm blocking this door. But then once I start dragging this whole door out with mud, which I will end up doing, this whole mud, this whole door will end up getting skim coated eventually. And I'll get the 36 inch block that my buddy has. I'll probably end up buying one eventually. But he's got two of them, so normally I have one laying around because he doesn't use them all the time. And I'll block that door out and I'll mask this body line off here and this door will look, it'll look, the quality of the body work, you'll never be able to tell there was mud in it. So, something you guys should invest in if you do body work. If you're doing it every once in a while, don't even worry about it. Because, like this, this is one of my blocks. They don't make one this small. This is just a wood dowel. PVC pipe works if you need to do radiuses. Um, paint paddles. Yard sticks work great. Here's another block that I've made. It's got wood dowel in the middle of it and a piece of uh, pipe insulation wrapped around it and then some tape. And the only thing the tape's on there for is so that when I peel the paper off, it doesn't tear all the foam insulation off when I peel the sandpaper off. And that's good for like on that Falcon I made this because it had a lot of I'll probably use it on this because it's got these curvy body lines and this works out great for blocking this the longer the better so it was just a little auto body tip for you guys I don't know if I ever told you or not but that's what I went to school to do was body work yeah I went to uh, Pickway Ross Career Center and uh, graduated out of their auto body class. Worked in a body shop for uh, almost three years after that. And I took body work because that's what I enjoyed doing. I wanted to be a painter, you know, make all these hot rods. Well, after I worked in a body shop for a while, my passion was turning into a task and a chore. And I no longer enjoyed doing it. So I made a decision to uh, go to work with my father and do construction. And uh, now it's back to where I actually enjoy doing body work. And I get side jobs all the time, painting cars, fixing panels, blending. And uh, that's kind of what's helping build the truck. I painted that Falcon and that paid for the majority of it. But now I enjoy doing body work because like I said it was working make turning your passion into nine to five is kind of hard to be able to do it 48 plus hours a week and then uh, come home and want to still do it in your spare time like uh, I do construction for my dad and I hardly ever do construction um, under the table jobs because I mean I enjoy doing it but if I can, I'd rather do something. You're gonna get your your uh, product back faster if the person doing it enjoys doing the work that they're doing. So, but yeah, I'll get. I'm got a coat of primer on that heater box, and uh, I'm about to sand it, and scuff it, and uh, prime it again, and see how it turns out, and then get some paint on it, and hopefully get it in a stub tonight. Uh, how extreme I'll go with masking off these body lines. And I'll fill it off. I'll show you how sharp these will be. So sharpen more. No, I just 
I got a little bit more work to do on this bottom side here, right here. Got to block it. I'll mask the top off, block the bottom, and then I'm shooting it. So the box is finally painted. About to install it now. I just hit it with some uh, flat clear coat, so it'll dry pretty quick because it's just rattle can. And then we'll uh, install it. Looks like uh, one of them ones you buy for $150. So I got the uh, heater box all painted and installed. You can see how much smaller that is. If you're familiar with these uh, C10 air conditioner trucks, that box stuck out to probably right here. So, now I'm about to uh, paint this bumper filler, and uh, I'll show you guys how those body lines turned out on that, after I masked them out, but uh, probably another two weeks or so, we'll be firing this truck up, now I can hook up the heater hoses and fill it full of coolant. So it'll have all the cooling in it. We just got to do battery cables and we're in there. Put a good tune on it. So I'll show you guys how that uh, bumper filler turned out. See now you can see where I mask those lines off. So they're nice and straight. I just got done wet sanding it with some 400. I had a little nick right here I had to fix. So I'm going to hit that with some self-etching primer and we're going to shoot some white on it get it on the Falcon tomorrow. So, alright y'all. Got the bumper filler all painted up. So that little job's done. So, so if you guys got any more questions about the uh, how I did the uh, AC delete on the box, just uh, comment, ask any questions. I'll be more than glad to answer them. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Don't, don't watch my videos. I don't care. Peace out, y'all.